Hey everyone, it's the detective and inside of this little bubble mailer here I actually have the Yuji Itadori minifigure made by Minifigs Factory and I'm just going to be opening it and also just reviewing it on camera today. Not many people make videos of these, you know, custom anime minifigs, at least not in English and, uh, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen is one of, if not my favorite, you know, anime slash manga series at the moment. So when they previewed, or when Minifigs Factory previewed their Yuji minifig, I knew I had to pick it up. This was very, very expensive, but I, I'm hoping that it turns out to be worth it in the end. But there is the minifig, and I'm really, really excited to open it up. So there is everything we get. Just gonna open it. You can see the figure right there, the extra head, some of the accessories. I love how each of them gets their own bag. This is really quite cool. <laughs> it even shows Yuji right there. I love that. 17 out of 80. So these are very, very limited. This is just a printed tile, by the way. And uh, yeah, this is just, it looks really, really cool right off the bat. So actually, let's just jump straight into the minifig. And here is the Yuji minifig. And honestly, this looks really, really quite cool. One thing that's really nice about this is that it actually is pad printed, which is the same type of printing that Lego uses. So it's going to look almost as if it's an official Lego minifig, which I do really, really like. Now, you'll notice right off the bat, there are two custom pieces on the minifig. You got the hair and then you have this kind of, uh, I guess, the hood slash collar piece that basically slips on right there. And uh, the hair itself, I'm going to be honest, it's not the best looking Yuji hair. I feel like they could have done it a little bit better, you know, with the spikes. I feel like it looks almost a little bit soft, but, you know, it looks recognizable enough with the pink and, you know, the shaved sides and such. But uh, I don't know. I just kind of feel like if they had put a little bit more effort into making the hair piece, it would have just had a better likeness towards, you know, Yuji himself. Taking that off, though, you can just see how the little hood piece attaches. It basically just slides around the neck, and uh, then you can just pop the head on like such. And when you do take it off, you do actually get a look at just what the printing looks like with that piece removed on the front and the back. One thing I really like about this figure is just how much printing there is on it. You know, he's just wearing a school uniform, basically, but they still added all of these really nice little wrinkle designs all throughout the figure, you know, on the arm, on the side to the torso, even on the inside of the legs, which is really nice. And uh, speaking of the legs, the printing on the boots is done really, really nicely. It continues all the way around the back. One thing I'm not a big fan of, though, is right there on the arms. You will see that he has these red little cuffs, and they look fine like this. But when you tilt it to the front, and you notice they don't continue all the way around the side of the arm, I don't know, I just, I'm not a big fan of that. You know, this is an expensive figure. And, you know, in the future, hopefully they decide to print onto the arms and maybe do some more extensive printing at that. So this Yuji minifigure actually comes with two heads, both of which have a face print on each side. So basically you're getting four expressions for this figure. And that's definitely very nice. You can see right off the bat, this face right here looks perfect, exactly like Yuji. I love the grin. Looks exactly like how he does in the anime. And I think it looks really just fantastic, you know, especially as the, I guess the default face right there. That looks really, really great. When you flip it around, however, I'm not actually a big fan of this face right here. It's the Sakuna face. And I was really excited to potentially get a Sakuna face with this minifig. However, it really feels like they just kind of squashed too much detail into one part of the figure. And I'm going to be honest, I just, I don't think it really fits that well. I mean, it looks okay on its own, but you know, when you put the hair on and you, you see it on the full torso, it just, I don't know, something about it just doesn't work for me. And that's a bit of a shame. Popping the other head on, this face right here, this is absolutely perfect. I love this laughing expression for Yuji. It looks just spot on. I believe that this is a reference to episode three, where Gojo says that he's gonna take Yuji Nobra and Megumi to Tokyo, and then that you have like this little chibi sequence in the anime where you see Yuji and Nobra with like these chibi expressions. I think that's what this is. I'll probably put an image up on screen. If Yuji does this face elsewhere in the anime, definitely let me know, but I think this looks absolutely perfect, and uh, yeah, uh, definitely a step up from that Sakuna face for sure. And the final face I actually think was done really well, because even though it has a lot of detail like the Sakuna head, it doesn't just, it doesn't feel like it's not meant to be on a Lego figure, and this one fits perfectly with the Lego figure. You'll notice we actually have Sakuna's face and his eye and his mouth in the side of Itadori's head, and this is definitely a reference to episode 13, after Junpei was killed by Mahito, and then Sakuna and Mahito are laughing at Itadori, 
that scene was just an amazing scene in the anime and it's honestly super cool to see it adapted into this face print and i'm really hoping that minifix factory actually does a mahito figure in the future as for accessories, you get four of them. You get these two pieces meant for the Divergent Fist. We have the Slaughter Demon Weapon, and then we also have the Sakuna Finger. I think that the Divergent Fist pieces are just absolutely fantastic. I love how th the way that they clip into the hand is done like this. So it looks like the Cursed Energy is rising up out of his fist. I think that is just perfect. And uh, I really hope that I can find maybe some small little LEDs or something that I could potentially, you know, slip under his hand just to have these light up because I think that would look absolutely fantastic. Minifix Factory absolutely killed it with these accessories. So next up we have Slaughter Demon and this is the accessory that Yuji got from Gojo in like I believe episode 3 or 4 and what kind of sucks is that you can't take it out of the sheath. I would have liked if it actually had you know a way to remove the weapon from the sheath or just a separate weapon entirely. And the final accessory is the Sukuna Finger and it is just so so masterfully done. I mean, like, holy crap. It's so detailed for a piece that small. You can see it basically just clips into his hand like a bar connection would. And, like, honestly, this must have been... It absolutely must have been just hand-painted because that is... That's way too small to be printed on with all those little black details. My guess is that they probably just painted it in that kind of pinkish color or purplish color, then they washed it in black, and then they painted it on the fingernail. That would be my guess, but it just looks absolutely fantastic, and it's probably my favorite accessory for the figure. So guys, that basically wraps it up for my review on the Itadori Yuji minifigure from Minifigs Factory, of course, from Jujutsu Kaisen. And while this figure does have some fault, I do still think that this figure is worth it if you're a big LEGO fan and JJK fan. If you are a Jujutsu Kaisen fan, then I guess you just have to consider whether you think $80 is worth it for this figure. Personally, I think it is, despite the faults. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really great figure that I can now add to my collection. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. If you have any feedback, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe as well for more awesome lego content and i'll see you in the next one bye bye